Can you spot the vulnerability in this code snippet? If not, then don't worry because I am going to show you. We are looking at a Solidity smart contract. It's using version 0.6 and has a game contract. The game has a mapping of balances, a deposit function where somebody can deposit funds into the game contract. It has a withdraw function that allows you to withdraw funds, as long as you have the funds in your balance, of course. There is also a buy item function and this function requires you to have some funds and then it will create an item and call a function on the contract buying an item. The funds are then removed from the account and the item is activated. The goal is to get all the funds from the game contract. We need two things to do that. One, unsafe math. In Solidity 0.6, there are no protections against integer over or underflows, meaning that if somewhere we can deduct more from our balance than we have, that will underflow our balance and have a really large balance instead. Two, re-entrancy. Notice how the receive item function is called on our player before the balance is deducted. What if we implement receive item and have it immediately buy another item? Then it's still allowed to buy another item because the balance hasn't updated yet. After being done with that, the balance will be deducted twice, causing the underflow to happen. Here's the code for our attacking contract. If you want to dig deeper into this topic, then I'll post some links for you in the replies. And if you want us to make more of these vulnerable code snippets, then be sure to like and follow us. That's all folks.